All the walk-off wins, great point. A lot of guys had great seasons, career years. For you too, it was a special season, the home run leader in the American League and the RBI leader as well. Yeah, you know what, personally, uh, I just didn't want to mess it up <laughs> because we had so much talent. I said, you know what, let me just do my thing. And, and I always prided myself as a guy with 30 home runs, drove in 100 runs, and played good defense. And, and that was kind of what I did my entire career. And I didn't want to just, I didn't want to mess up who I was. Luckily, I got off to a, a really good start starting in May. Um, you know, April, none of us played well. I wasn't very good in April. Once May hit, um, I really caught my stride and, and had a lot of confidence the rest of the season. But you know, one of the things that I, I pride myself on is my defense and just the ability for our pitchers to feel better about our infield defense with Alex and Derek and Robson Cano. I think that's the best infield that, that's ever been assembled in baseball. Um, and wow. so when you can go out there and affect the game offensively and defensively, help your team out in so many ways, it's just a good feeling. That defense absolutely stellar come the postseason, more so even than the regular season, which is saying something. But I want to focus on the ALDS and that walk-off home run <laughs> down the left field line, the celebration that ensued, unforgettable, right? It was. And uh, I remember Susan Walden very, very uh, memorably told me after this, the regular season was over, this team hasn't won a World Series in eight years. She's kind of looking, she like paused. And I'm like, I know, Susan, that's, that's the goal. Basically saying, listen, division championships are great, but those are a dime, dime a dozen for the Yankee fans. They want another World Series. And so the second game of the, of the ALDS, the second game in postseason uh, as a Yankee, I hit a walk-off home run, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is great. But we have two more series to go. I mean, going up 2-0 against the Twins was very important. But we knew that we were going to have a really tough time beating great teams like the Angels and the Phillies to win a World Series. Well, that's interesting. You guys owned the Twins for several years in there, which was fun to watch. But even in the moment, you were focused at the task at hand and ahead. That, that's the beauty of, of the postseason. It's, it's also what makes it so difficult that once that game is over, you, you turn the page and you have to go out and perform the next day. In the regular season, you know you have 162. So if I have a great game, if I had two home runs or, you know, do something special, you can enjoy it for, for four or five days. You know, you can kind of um, – you can enjoy those moments. In the playoffs, once you do something great, the next day you better repeat it. And uh, I, I did enjoy it for, for maybe 24 hours, but, um, but it, was, it was tough going into Minnesota the next day. Well, you did the job as a unit. Now take me to the celebration. You complete the task. Well, I would say that there are very few times in, um, in your career where you get to equally enjoy something with your teammates. Because it's always, hey, that guy did something neat. I did something cool. The manager won X amount of games. So, so he gets and, – and everyone is kind of passing the, the, the praise around. When you win a championship together, the, the security guard that meets you at the front door to the ownership all get to enjoy that and all feel like they're a part of it. And, you know, what a great feeling to be, to be with a team from, you know, middle of February from spring training all the way to the beginning of November, riding down the canyon of heroes and just appreciating what everybody did from the support staff to the coaching staff, to the players, to the GM and ownership. Everyone had their part, and that's what made it special. 